This is the Horus Vision Hunter. It's model 2500, it says. We found these at the SHOT Show and uh, kind of like the reticule in these. Speaking of which, the word reticle or reticule, reticle is the popular use of the word. When I'm talking to people that are engineers and are really into precision shooting and optics, etc., I often hear them using the word reticule. However, reticle, reticule, either way it works. Anyway, it has a Horus reticle in it. Imagine that, it being a Horus scope. The Horus scopes and the Horus reticle designs are typically very busy. The word busy is used by those that don't care for the reticle type as much. I happen to love them. The more information I can have on the reticle, as long as I can still see my target, the happier I am. It's a 3 to 12 power, so it's not going to be uh, perfect for going beyond 700-800 yards, but out to that distance it's good. Another thing about this scope is that the minutes of angle are actually Hunter's MOA. The difference between the Hunter's MOA and the regular or scientific MOA has to do with how precise the MOA is calculated. With a Hunter's MOA, we just round it down to an inch at 100 yards. This is fine. If we want to stay within four, five, six, seven, maybe 800 yards, going out beyond that, we start to care more about the more precise MOA, which is 1.04 and the decimals continue to go. If we think about it as 0.4, now once again we're rounding down and not being perfectly precise. However, 0.04 doesn't really matter. We're talking about such a small amount at 100 yards that very few guns, even a rail gun, it's probably not going to make a difference at 100 yards. As we go out further, once we get out to many hundreds of yards, then it can start adding up to some inches of difference. However, for a six, seven, eight hundred yard scope, Hunter's MOA is perfect. And it's easier to figure out for the average hunter or shooter that's casual, uh, isn't really into the thousand yard shooting or the fifteen hundred yard shooting. This works just beautifully.